Hey there, YouTube. This is Mr. Budget coming with a fight video today. I'm, I'm already joined by Cedric. Today we're doing our light and dark dragon video. If you guys have watched one of our other videos coming up soon, our deck box opening, well, my box opening of Minerva Rising for BTO set eight. Uh, that should be coming within the week. Uh, you guys heard that we are going to, that we picked up uh, two new boss units. I got Grand Brace. And I got uh, Bethlehemides. We did a 3v3 today on February 11th, and I was clapping cheats. I did not play Bethlehemides. <laughs> I played Barrow, and we, we, our group did pretty well. We did. We went two uh, two wins, two, two losses. losses. My deck, I got three wins, one loss. I got two two. Well, I went against Eva, so that's that's not saying much. Eva's like the best deck right now in the match. I mean, my deck was able to beat it. <coughs> I mean, not, I, I almost not, beat it. Not here to toot my own horn. I almost beat it, but but that's not what we're here almost for. So we're gonna see how the light and dark dragons of set eight pair out. So we're gonna roll to see who goes first. Eight. I eight. I got seven. You're up first. So let's see how the two dragons go. Uh, we got music in the background today. I kind of figured out a way to do it. So if you guys like the music in the background, let me know. We, we need to do it more of it for our, our upcoming videos, and we'll figure it out. If anyone recommend uh, some actual tasteful music, like say Jesus Grace. I mean, we are uh, we're just playing music just to fill the background. That's all. I know what I said. Okay. <laughs> I said what I said. I meant it. Mr. Jamai Gaman. Look like a fat ass in a stick. Yeah. <laughs> CB bud. All right, let's get this going. Be prepared to get your cheeks popped. So leave down in the comments if you guys uh, thought about playing these decks and how would you play these decks or any text that you might want to offer us uh, in the future for going forward. Uh, as Rosario said, stand up. I'm going to be tricking this deck up a little bit more. Same. 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 This card. Right block to job. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Discard. Right flaming pony skill. Starter. Draw one because I went second. Swing for eight. I'll take it. Five check. Draw trigger. Draw one. Damage check. Crit. Draw for turn. Let's go to the front. Right block to dark. Job of skill because blocks are on top. Real top card. There's a unit I can call it. Okay. Dark skill. Can I one? What's our unit? Oh, it's how many units, which you do not have. I get plus one drive. Swing tank here with twin drive. Uh, no guard. First check. No trigger. Second check. No trigger again. Damage check. No trigger. Go ahead. So for those who don't know what Buffy Meadows does, this is basically like a Dark States version of the Brant deck. Brant deck. Uh, Fashion deck, sorry. Discard, right. It's like based around grade threes, uh, gaining as many grade threes from the soul as possible. That's why I chose this ride line. It's so charged from the jump, as many as you see. Grade three, grade three. It gets them right in there as fast as possible. Swing for 10. I'll take it. Draw a check, no trigger. Yeah, let's check. No trigger. Now, nice. the, now the only problem about this deck is that, just like bashing, you're gonna be taking a lot of damage early because you're gonna have a lot of grade threes in your hand. This card. Right, the boss, the boss boy. Sword Saint Night Dragon, Graham Grace. Hallelujah. <laughs> Graham Grace skill. Can I blast one? So blast one. A draw card. The call called the back row center. So the nice thing about Grand Race, it works uh, a little different than most catered decks. It allows you to get Persona Ride, not just for the front row, but also for the back row. But it also allows you to call cards out to your center, just like Magnolia, and attack from the back row. It's very wholesome. Uh, called Build the Sorceress skill, build the top card. Go top of bottom of the deck. I'll leave it on top. It is the plus 10k of the Grand Grace. Call Fasado and Painkiller from Three is Grace. I could be a painkiller. Let me have my phone. Let me have your phone more. Uh, swing 13 with my drive. No guard. First check. All trigger. Okay. Start Jar. early, I see. 
uh, 100 million to Fasado in effect to give all my units a draw card. Second check. No trigger. Damage check. No trigger. Swing 20k with a draw check. No guard. Check. No trigger. Grand Great Skill. And then battle and backwards with the attacks. It can put the units of the soul and draw a card. Mm -hmm. Swing really big number with uh, Twin Drive. Complete guard. You could have took that hit. Dude, you get it in the twin drop. I don't want no more crits. It was one crit. First check. No trigger. Second check. C. And then painkiller skill. So that's one card. Retire. Draw a card. Alright, I'm up. Now, mind you, the consistency of this deck I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 cards in hand. You only got 12 cards in hand because you hit the over trigger. I said we had a decent amount of cards in my hand. True. Anyway. Uh, Ride Demonic Lord of Hades Flames Baphomedes. Hades. So, the reason why you want to take so much damage in this in this uh, this early game so you can play a lot of your grade threes and abilities, such as Counter Blast 1, move itself to the soul, look at the top two cards of the deck, move one to the soul, call the other one to the rear guard circle. And then call active on play skill, counter blast one, superior call a unit from your soul equal to or less than your grade of your vanguard. If you do, call it, and if it has the same name as your vanguard, you could add it back to your hand, but this is how you get more breakthroughs on board to activate the best on either skill, skill, soul charge. And then we will call activating the skill, move the card from my hand to the soul to draw a card. I think that's about all I really want to do right now. How many great things do I have in the soul right now? One, two. I have three great threes in the soul. I'm gonna activate the skill from my soul, my great two. Soul charge, that's now four great threes in the soul. And my vanguard gets an additional plus 10k power for the turn. Uh Grand Great, uh not Grand Great, sorry. Bethamita's skill. Since I have three or more great threes in my soul, all of my threes get 5k shield and the ability to boost. So this is going to be a 26k power. 26. Go over 28. Activating the Bethlehemidas will attack. Activating its skill. I choose two grade three rear guards. Put them into my soul and draw a card. And then I get plus 10k for every three grade threes in my soul. 10, 20. That's an additional 20k power. So that's now 30k power. And then final skills. So now there are six. Grade three units in my sword, you must guard the Vanguard attack with three or more cards. Hit me, baby, one more time. First check, no trigger. Second check, no trigger. So it's said it hit me. Damn check, kill trigger. I do not hear what powers the Vanguard. Okay. This is going to be 23 at uh, your rear guard. You can still hit the Vanguard. I'm fine. turn. Stand and draw. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we begin to start clap, seeing some uh, intriguing moments. Persona Nirado. Draw a Persona Ride. We'll just use this insignia after we the Persona Ride. So, Grand Green's uh, ability went Persona Ride. Front row and back row get the power of 10k. So basically, all six of his circles get additional 10k buffs. Yes. Which is... Crazy. So after we gain my skill again, count last one. So last one. Draw a card. Then call a card. Calling Spinning Knight Gwendolyn. So during the battle, this unit attacked. And by Persona version, which I did, is getting a plus five. And you have to go with two of the cards. Mm -hmm. And then plus 10k off of that. So now it's going to be plus 20 essentially. Okay, that's nice. What? Like grade three? Yeah. That's the card to attack in this morning. Oh, nice. So, add the main skill, go to the top card, put it on the bottom. Don't put this card at the bottom. Because I put the card at the bottom, this is going to get plus 2k. I really need some bubble tea. I'm going to show you the card. Yeah. 
then we will call painkiller. So we will swing. We'll do 23 to the Vanguard. Complete guard. Sir, you may take a few. Damn. Yeah, we good. First check. <laughs> Second check. No triggers. No triggers. All right, good. Swing 22 at the Vanguard. Complete, uh, not complete guard. Guard for 28. Sorry. Sir, you know you piece of hits. It's okay. This will be 38. And you have to go with two more cards. No guard. No trigger. The grim Gracious Skill. At the end, bound my backwards into unit attack. I can put that unit into the soul. And draw one card. This will be 23, 41 for one damage. No guard. Heal trigger. Power on a do heal. Who hurts you? You. Persona skill. Accordingly. Counter charge one. Soul charge one. Painkiller skill. So that's one. Retire it. Draw a card. Go ahead. Alright, stand. Look at my hand, people. Persona right? And mind you, this card's only two dollars. Call. Skill. Counter blast one. You can literally make a budget deck out of this. I mean you did. The only thing that spins like Fasado and all. Um, no, Gabri, which Gabri you don't have to play, but it's very, it's, it's, it's somewhat essential for this deck to go off even more. Scale of time to enter dragon, soul charge a card, or soul charge a crit to draw a card. And then I will. I just realized if we were playing it, if Z was here playing Mega Clown, Big Clown, Big Bad Beat of Borgs. Skill, Contra Blast, Superior Call. Superior call there. Mm -hmm. And then activating the skill, return a card to my hand. Now base number 26, 36, skill, 46, 56, three more to guard. I will take that good sir. Twin draws. First check, second check. Damage check. No check. Then this will be 33 at uh, your wizard, grade three. That's fine. Since he attacked hit, I get the soul charge. And now since you're a 10 or more, she moves herself to the soul. And counter charge. Pass. That's it. Oh, all I can do. Stand and draw. How many cards do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Persona Ride? Mm -hmm. Draw. Funny thing about this deck, you got most likely Persona Ride every turn you turn. Which I've really done almost every time we play test this deck. Yeah, both decks have the the innate ability to grab their persona ride targets really easily. Going to activate my order wisdom of beginning that cleared the world. I can bust one. I draw two cards. Then call two cards. Whose grade is them equal to my vanguard? We call Fasado. Painkiller. Mm -hmm. 
Just so we're gonna have like extra missiles at hand. Great way skill. Can I bless one? Soul bless one. Draw a card and call a card. Pull nine piercing Kedwala. Okay, Wala, I'm not gonna ask that card. to the Vanguard, power... Two... Fosado. Second check. No trigger. Damage check. Heal trigger. I do heal. Power. Second check. Over trigger. All effects to the Vanguard. Ooh, you gotta love them double heels. Pass turn. Stand and draw. Persona ride. Draw. It's okay, people. We'll get him back for that one. Towards turn 33 with an on hit. This one heal trigger. I do heal since he attacked it. I still charge power to the ranger activating her effect. Move yourself to the soul to counter charge. The vanguard will swing activating skill. Moving two grade three to the soul to draw a card and then. Uh, base number is 23, 33, 43, 53, 53. So, PG, drop the order, then drop that. Twin draws, no trigger. Crit, all effects to Colossus. Bitch. So 33, sorry, 33, 41. Activate the skill. Counter blast one, soul blast one. You must guard this attack with two more cards. So, on the 23, 43. Sonarize. Draw. Bring me a skill. Draw a card. Cards left in deck. Three. Okay. Soul charge, if it hits. 
No guard. Frick. Bitch. And that's the game. You almost had me. <laughs> I know I did. But <clears throat> I hope you guys like what both decks can do, what both decks bring to the game. Uh, these two boss units are very interesting. They have very high potential. I just believe they need a little bit more support based around them and having their own individual ride lines. What do you think, Cedric? I'm doing with this, I guess, to be honest. But look, Grand Guild is going to get more support. How so? There's actually a great three unit support for this card. There's a specific great three unit. What's that? Uh, it, Slap this. Not BTL up. Wait, what is it? Either, it's either BT9 or BT10. But I've seen the card itself. Someone actually showed me a card. It's a great three night that literally says that gives Grand Grace plus one drive. See? That's what I need too. I need a plus one drive. There or, you go. Or better, if you get plus one drive, I need plus one crit. Nah, get plus one crit. Nah, see, that wouldn't be fair. But I hope you All like, is fair in love and war. But I hope what you like what both decks could do, what both decks bring to the table. If you guys want to see more of these decks, let us know in the future. We might even be putting these decks through the premium challenge. Potentially. I thought about it. We'll see how these decks work out in premium. Uh, honestly, I think this deck will work really well with uh, DI, especially with uh, Hope on Damp, Guard Restrict. For me, it's either Go Paladin or Roy Paladin. Most likely Roy Paladin, just to get the extra numbers to be really spicy. Well, uh, we, have we have future videos coming up, things in the works. I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. I hope you guys enjoyed the music in the background. If you guys want more of that, please let us know down in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're always updated when we post videos. Uh, we have a, like I said, we have a lot coming in the works. So, before further ado, that has been me, Mr. Budget. And Cedric with Grand Grace, the holy, literally probably the best kid I've ever played in my life. We're signing out. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.